Welcome back. So we had a look at how we create and load our React component. And that's fine. And as I said many times before, you can create individual components and then just render them in the DOM. But you can also combine components together. I will do that and for this I will create a new folder in my app folder, which I'll name components. And that's a good convention in your React.js projects to store your components in such a folder. Now I want to create two new components in my application. I want to have a home component, basically like the main page content you will see, and a header component at the top, which is, so let's say, a split in an application, which makes sense, I believe. So let's create both a header.js file, and it's also a convention to have the uppercase um, name here or starting with an uppercase character like header here and then I'll create a new file home dot not homer nothing to do with the Simpsons here home dot js well let's start with the header file I'll pull in react again from react and I don't need to import render from the react dom because I'm not going to render this component directly into my html file I'll not target uh, an element marked by me. Instead, I will include it in this app component later on, and you will see how to do that. So I will only need to create my component here, and I will export it to make it available outside of this file, because I want to use it in my index.js file later on. Then I will again create a class header, which should extend my React component. That's the general pattern you follow when creating components. And then I add the render method to it, and in here I return, of course, my code again, my HTML code, so to say. And I'll create a nav, not a navigator, a nav element for that. Give it a class name of navbar, navbar default. That's just some bootstrap styling here to get a nice looking navigation bar. And in there, I want to create a container with chess a nav, a nav bar header class inside. So that's all bootstrap and definitely check out bootstrap to learn more about it. That's no bootstrap course. Just want to get a nice looking header. And then you could have multiple links here in an unordered list where I know the class name is not class name, the class name is nav and nav bar nav. So a lot of nav bar stuff here. That's just how bootstrap named their classes. And then I'll have a list item with the actual link, which won't work for now, by the way. So I'll come to routing in a later video. For now, I'll just create this basic link. So that's a lot of code for just something saying home, but it should look nice in the end. And with that, let's go to the home.js file. In here, I'll again pull in React from React. Don't need render here too, because I will use this component in my app component in the index.js file too. Export it, of course, home, extend React component. So again, that's how you create your components. Then define what should get rendered. And I will come to other methods you can use in future videos too, but render is the most important one basically here. And then just make sure to return something here too. Let's say a div. And then I'll say in a new component. Yay, isn't that great? So with that, I get my component set up. Time to go back to the index.js file. And here I need to make some adjustments. Well, I will import my newly created components. So I will import header from my components folder and then from the header file. And you don't specify the file extension here. So you can leave out the .js that will all be handled by Webpack. And then I'm just duplicating this import to also include my home component. Of course, also adjusted here to pull in home. And then I can use both components like HTML tags in my app component here. So I already got my container set up here. And then I want to add my header here at the top. And I can simply create an HTML tag named header for that. With that, I'll just copy the row here and create this again. But this time, of course, name it home to load my home section. And I could also still include some 
text in here or something like that, right? So I can still write code in this component itself, not only include other components. And actually I'm doing that with all these divs here. So with that, after I save it, it already got updated and you can see here's my nav bar and my new component, this home component. And that is how easily you create new components. The pattern is always the same. And then you include them like HTML code in your existing components. You can't include these tags here in the index.html file because, well, the browser has no chance of identifying what that is. But React.js has a chance of doing so because we tell it here at the top. We link everything together. And keep in mind, in the background, this is no HTML code. It's JavaScript code. It just looks nicer. But by writing this, we're not really creating an HTML tag which looks like that. Instead, we're telling React.js, hey, please include the component which you import from there in this place. And that is how you let components, well, work together kind of or combine them together. Regarding the work together part, that's something I'll come to in the next two videos.